Um, so let's get started. Um, Zanzibar White Sand um, is a Relais Chateau Hotel and is now a Serendipians partner as well. Um, it's a beautiful property located down in the southeast um, area of Zanzibar. So we're located down um, at Page Beach, so about an hour from the airport, um, and we're just south of the main Page village, about 10 minutes, um, 10 minute drive south. Uh, and what's so great about Zanzibar is that you've got loads of direct flights. Many of you already selling Zanzibar will know you can fly direct um, into um, Zanzibar International Airport from um, a lot of hubs in Europe, including um, Amsterdam and, um, and in, in Zurich as well and places in, in Germany too. Um, and then there's also direct flights from the Middle East as well, making it a really nice, um, it's a really nice winter sun destination in its own right. We get a lot of people who've um, who just been on safari come and stay, uh, but it's also uh, a really great winter sun destination in its own right. And you've only got, um, you know, a one or two hour time difference um, from many of these um, destinations in Europe. So um, really easy to do. You're not kind of flying all the way off to near the Indian, you know, further um, east in the Indian Ocean or South Pacific, uh, where you've got those really big time differences. So you can do kind of five days here really easily. It's beautiful tropical weather. It's great year, year round. Green season is kind of May time. Um, that being said, you don't get like we do in the UK where it rains all day. Um, but you don't get that very often. Usually it's kind of, um, you know, big tropical downpours um, and then it will be sort of warm and, and quite humid throughout, throughout the day. Um, we offer VIP arrival and departure um, so that is um, VIP pickup um, from the airport and also um, use of the VIP lounge in the new Zanzibar airport as well um, and these and also private transfers so this is our location as you can see there's a reason we're called uh, Zanzibar White Sand uh, we are located on Page Beach and it really is um, the whitest sands I have ever seen um, and be this beautiful crystal blue water um, and we're really lucky where we're located and um, just offshore there is a, um, a coral reef which kind of because um, we're east coast you can get some more kind of blustery um, uh, conditions in the ocean but we uh, with that coral reef it blocks a lot of the waves and as you can see they're breaking quite far out in this photo and then we get this beautiful flat lagoon like water um, and it's quite shallow as well so really safe for swimming especially with little ones and as you can see from this photo incredible conditions for kite surfing uh, we do have a real separation we ensure that the kite surfers uh, and the swimmers are separated because you don't want any collisions in that sense um, but it is brilliant for both so really love conditions uh, for swimming um, and kite surfing uh, and of course we do have kayaks and stand up paddle boards and things like that too so really great for those the whole vibe of Zanzibar White Sand is kind of space and intimacy and privacy uh, we're on a four hectare plot uh, but there's only 15 villas so they're really spaced out and they're all kind of um, interspersed between this kind of beautiful, lush, tropical gardens. Um, and that means that, um, you know, when you're in your villa, they're really, really private. Um, we've got kind of everything from a one bedroom and enormous villa set on a, on a big plot um, to a five bedroom family villa. And then we've got some smaller um, one bedroom villas for, um, for those who don't need as much space or don't feel they need um, quite as big, but we'll go through them now. Um, so I will go into, into depth a little bit more on the villas, but we have five one bedroom villas. These are beachfront. You literally walk out of your villa onto the beach and then you can walk straight onto Page Beach. So it is, um, they are really are beachfront. Um, so we've got five of them and sleeping two people. We can also fit, you know, one or two beds in for small children there as well. Uh, we've then got the family two bedroom villa. We've also got five of these. They're kind of dotted behind the one bedroom villas. Um, and these can sleep for people really comfortably. And that is for adults um, or uh, are great for families as well. Um, and then we have our five bedroom villa. Uh, this can sleep 10, um, you know, the odd extra bed here and there, but generally um, 10 people. Um, and we also sell this in the low season as separate rooms. So it operates like a little boutique hotel. Uh, and those are called our deluxe rooms. Um, we do the same thing with the two bedroom villas as well. So they can be sold as two separate units. So the, the upstairs bedroom and the downstairs. Um, and in, we do this in the low season. It opens up a little bit more availability um, and also also brings that price point down as well but you still get this incredible experience 
Um, we then have our cinnamon rooms. Now, these um, are typically often thought of as our um, low cost option, and they are. They're more of an entry level price point. They are still really beautiful and luxurious. Um, they're lovely, big, spacious rooms. They were kind of originally built for um, kite surfers coming here or people who didn't really need, um, you know, they weren't coming necessarily for the the beautiful villa they were coming for the kite surfing um and they have been upgraded since we first introduced them to the portfolio and um, so we've got a really nice selection here so we've got the double we've got a quadruple which can sleep four and then we've got a family which can also sleep four um and so these are a really lovely option for guests whose budget maybe doesn't stretch to one of the family villas or the one bedroom villas uh, but still want that beautiful level of luxury with um they each have a hot tub and then you can make use of the main resort pool as well and um, announcing our new, our four new villas, which are our garden villas. Now these um, come, they are kitted out in more or less the same um, uh, sort of vibe as the, the main sort of one and two bedroom villas. Um, but these are just a one um, one room, a beautiful big ensuite. They've got a hot tub and a lovely big garden as well. So this is again, just opening up a bit more capacity um, at White Sand. You know, we've only got 11 of those main villas um, and then also obviously the cinnamon rooms, but this is adding in um, just a bit more, um, a bit more availability for you. And they're a little bit bigger than the cinnamon rooms, uh, the one bedroom cinnamon room. Um, so going a bit more in depth. So we've got the one bedroom villas. These are set over a 1500 square meter plot. And these are our beachfront villas. Um, as you can see, they're surrounded by beautiful lush garden. Um, so you've got, you know, just all this, um, this very mature garden surrounding. So you can see from this photo that you can see the villas next door but you really can't when you're you're in here and it feels like you're sort of cocooned in your own oasis and you literally walk out the front and you're on the beach um, and you've got this lovely big space um, that is sort of beach already and then you can walk out onto Page beach and you've got the ocean right there um so this is just looking at the kind of uh, floor plan layout. You have your um, your one bedroom um, here with the roof terrace at the top and your bathroom and outdoor bathroom behind. And then you've got a whole separate uh, living and dining area. And that's why we kind of say we can add in extra beds for kids um, into this main bedroom. First of all, the bedrooms are 55 square meters. So they are enormous. Um, so really spacious and comfortable and you can definitely add in an extra bed here. But with that um, with that separate living and dining space, it means you don't need to spend much time in your bedroom. Even if you, you know, you're know you there during the green season when we get a bit of a downpour, you've got that lovely indoor space to hang out in and read a book um, or kids to play. Um, and so it doesn't feel over cramped at all if you added children into this into this room beautiful outdoor bathroom as I said uh, and then that gorgeous rooftop terrace where you can sit and you can watch the kite surfers breeze on by um, and it is a really stunning spot to kind of have read a book catch up on some work or also uh, crack open a bottle of champagne if you um, are there to celebrate um, this is the lovely big living space um, and then we move on to the two bedroom villa. Now this is really, really um, similar to the one bedroom villa um, in terms of the layout. So I'm not gonna show you a floor plan again because it is more or less exactly the same. The only difference being that that top um, space is another bedroom. Now these bedrooms are carbon copies of one another. Um, there is no difference. Um, and you ha actually have an external staircase connecting the two. So we would not recommend this for really small children because you do have, you don't have an internal access uh, between the two bedrooms. Rooms, but great for families with older kids great for two couples traveling together because again you've got that um living and dining space that is separate so you've got that lovely hangout space um and the private access to the two rooms so it really does feel private and secluded still um and of course you've got a 1500 square meter plot so it is enormous um these are set back slightly a lot of them um, you actually from that upper terrace can see the ocean but some it is that beautiful garden view and again you feel really cocooned in in amongst the beautiful mature gardens and um, we then have our five bedroom villa so this is fantastic obviously for a big group a big family group it's got a fully equipped kitchen it's got a lovely dining area um outside and also inside um, this is a, a little floor plan for you so you can see um, when we say five bedroom, one of the bed, one of the um, bedrooms is a kid's room off of a, an adult's room. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, but really, you know, you can easily sleep 10 people here. You've got two hot tubs, you've got a private pool and like and, and all this sort of lovely garden around as well. 
Um, so as I said, you've got the indoor dining space, you've got a lounge space. Um, and as I said, I think at the beginning is we do this um, during the low season as separate rooms and it kind of feels like a little boutique hotel. And um, when I stayed here last, that's how I stayed. I stayed in, um, in fact, it was the room just off the kitchen here. Um, and you do, um, you don't feel like you're staying in a in a private house. It, it does feel very much um, like it's well set up um, for that, um, for that kind of style of the separate rooms. Um, and then jumping straight in to our new garden villas. So these, uh, I only actually saw the photos for these um, a few days ago, um, and they are looking absolutely stunning. So um, we've just had all the official photos done. They are um, very, very similar to the, you know, the one bedroom villas. They've got a little lounge area that's kind of where this photo has been taken from is that lounge area and a beautiful big bathroom just behind. They've got a gorgeous outdoor space as well. Um, and then that hot tub too. So you've got a lovely beach space um, here, the kind of sandy area. Um, you've got a hot tub, you've got this beautiful big room and lounge. Um, and then you have use of all of the um, other resort facilities. So the main pool, um, you know, all the, um, you know, the other amenities. Um, so they just come in at a slightly lower price point to the one bedroom villas. Um, and they just, mean that you know couples whose maybe budget doesn't stretch or we don't have space which is often a problem um, a nice problem but often a problem we have um so yeah it just means that you've got that extra space um and a beautiful area to um to stay in now we do offer um obviously dining is a big thing for us we offer in room dining um and, and this was taken up a lot during covid so we're very used to it now but um we do also have our two restaurants so we've got the doors to zans of our restaurant which is our main restaurant this is where breakfast is served and also dinners um and it is kind of slightly more fine dining for the lunches and dinners here. Um, it's where um, the ingredients can really kind of um, be you know, played around with. It's very unique food. Um, and that's really kind of the Relais and Chateau um, vibe that you get here. We've then got our beach restaurant, which I have to say is a personal favorite spot of mine. Um, you can roll in straight out of the ocean. Um, you can sit there, you know, in your flip flops in your sarong you don't have to dress up or anything um and you've got a kind of beach barbecue style with beautiful fresh salads um, and I have to say sat here with an ice cold rosé really is um it really is perfection um we then have um, a few different bars as well so we've got our main bar this is just off uh, the doors to Zanzibar restaurant um and then we've also got our rooftop bar which is beautiful um and is really lovely for sunset obviously being on the east coast we don't get um sunset over the ocean but it's beautiful to sit up there and watch the sunset um, and we often host management drinks up there as well um which is a really nice way to um interact with other guests um it's a, that really nice opportunity that you kind of don't necessarily get when you're staying at such a private resort so it's really lovely to have that opportunity um, and we've then got our kite bar which is um, located on the beach um and is a really lovely spot um for again actually for sunset as well um but a really beautiful um spot to come and sit down um, and have your feet in the sand um now, in terms of inclusions, we have got a beautiful big tennis court um, at our property now. Um, we have got our main pool. So we've got a um, beautiful big pool. And then we've also got a kid's pool as well that's slightly shallower. Um, we have brilliant water sports. So we're in a, a fantastic location um, for water sports, as I said. So we've got the um, stand up paddle boards. We've got the clear kayaks. And we do have also got the sailing boat, um, which if guests um, can, they're welcome to take it out. They just have to book in. Um, but if um, for a, an extra fee, if they would like lessons, then, you know, we can book that in as well. Um, in terms of, um, you know, extra activities, I love the bikes. We have the fat tire bikes and actually we now have e-bikes at a, at a sort of nominal extra cost as well. Um, and it's such a lovely um, experience at low tide cycling down the beach into Page Village. Uh, they've got some really cool kind of buzzy beach bars down there. You can sit and have a smoothie um, or something stronger. Um, and that's a really nice activity to do at low tide, which I'll talk about the tides a little bit. But basically, obviously, we it is very tidal. A lot of Zanzibar is and the tide does go way out. So I always just think you've got to plan your day around the tides. Um, so that's a great low tide activity. Um, so is um, playing playing a bit of tennis. We've also got the um We've also got the gym as well and the fitness center. Uh, and of course, we have our spa too. 
Um, now we now operate um, daily complimentary activities as well. Now these are another really lovely way um, to kind of interact with other guests and also to um, have a bit of guidance with, um, with some of the activities. Um, so every morning we do sparkling sunrise where guests can come down to the beach um, and have champagne on, um, on the beach at the beach restaurant. Um, and that's a really lovely opportunity to um, see the sunrise over the ocean and you know, making the most of being on the East Coast. Uh, and then we've got things like cycling tours. Um, we've got pa um, pa uh, paddle boarding and we've got Swahili lessons as well. So it's really lovely um, sort of extra little activities to kind of get guests interacting a bit more um, if that's what they want. Of course, as many of us know, the African night skies are like nowhere else. Um, so you can stargaze here. Um, and we are really um, set up for kids as well. We've got a lovely play area and um, we can offer babysitting. Uh, we've got the kids pool as well. And, and the, um, the villas, you know, really work beautifully for families because they are so private. So guests can really have their own space there. Um, and then on top of that, um, we have got kite surfing. Um, as I said, kite surfing is huge here. Um, it is really brilliant um, and it's just perfect conditions. We do have people coming from all over the world just to kite surf at Page. We have our Dao excursion and this is the little Dao. Um, so perfect for kind of couples um, or a small group. Um, it's very romantic heading out on that. We've got the spa. Now the spa is um, it, it obviously Zanzibar. Uh, white sand villas and spa it's a large part of what we do uh, the um, all of our cosmetics and everything we use in the rooms and also in the spa is sourced locally um, and made locally um, as much as possible um, and there are some really amazing treatments here we actually do now have um, hairstylists on um, on site as well so you can have your hair done while you're here too the salt water is getting to it um, and then um, of course Zanzibar is a beautiful romantic destination. We get a lot of honeymooners through. We can set up a lot of um, you know, beautiful private dinners. We have uh, the floating breakfast, which is very cool. Um, and also uh, we do have wedding uh, packages as well. Um, in terms of um, the rest of Zanzibar, that, what I love so much about staying on Zanzibar is you have got a wealth of activities at your fingertips, especially when you're on the mainland. Um, we've got snorkeling and diving just um, you know, 15 minutes away from us. They take guests out on a boat um, and head out snorkeling and diving um, a bit further from the property. Stone Town is just an hour away. You have that beautiful cultural um, uh, mix here of the kind of African meets sort of Middle Eastern sort of styles. Um, and of course, this was a really um, key uh, location on the trade route. So um, there's a lot of history here and a lot of um, sort of that mix of cultures. Um, the Slave Museum is really, really interesting. I would highly recommend it. Um, and it's just an hour away. So a really nice one to include in a bit of a day trip. Um, you know, guests head into Stone Town take a spice tour, maybe stop for lunch on the way back um, and then come back in the afternoon to the property. We've got the Jazani Forest, just a 10 minute um, drive away. Um, this is really lovely, particularly for those guests who maybe haven't been on, um, on safari before uh, coming here and they're just coming straight to Zanzibar. Um, it's really nice to see some of those endemic, um, endemic species here. We've got the Rock Restaurant, which is obviously um, an absolute Instagram phenomenon, um, just 20 minutes away from us. It's just 20 minutes north of us. Um, that's a lovely one, actually, to include in a day trip if guests head out in the morning to Stone Town and then head to the Rock Restaurant on the way back. Um, and actually, one thing that we do offer um, that has been taken up quite a bit, especially with um, those brilliant direct connections, is the short safaris. So maybe guests who haven't been on safari before, maybe aren't sure what it's all about, but um, they can just head off. It's a 45 minute flight um, over to, uh, they can head to the Serengeti or down to the Salu and just do kind of a two or three night safari. And what's really nice about that is they can leave their big suitcases, their kind of international size suitcases um, at the resort. Um, and then they can head off taking just a duffel with them, have two or three nights on safari and then come back. And that's really great for those guests who maybe, you know, from their country have a really awesome direct connection into Zanzibar and maybe aren't sure if they want to do kind of, you know, a week long safari. Um, big thing about uh, White Sand is that kind of switching off that mindful luxury, just taking a step back. We have beautiful um, yoga sessions on the beach, you know, making the most of those that sunrise um, and just you can absolutely switch off here. Um, again, as I said, what's lovely about being on um, on mainland on Zanzibar is that we have that local culture. 
you know, you can cycle down into Page village, you can head into Stone Town, and you really feel like you're still in Africa, you're not kind of marooned on a private island somewhere, you've got that kind of, you can really feel that you're still in Africa. Um, and as I said, um, with the spa, all of our cosmetics are locally sourced, um, and often made from local seaweed as well, which is um, a really large industry in Zanzibar. We have our vegetable garden, so uh, the restaurants um, on the property, we try and source as much as possible from this vegetable garden. And if it's not from on the property, it is from as nearby as possible. We have um, really changed up the supply chain uh, to ensure we are um, supporting local, particularly, um, and also um, supporting um, Zanzibar in general. Um, and actually really um, amazing is that we've got our carpentry workshop just over the road. So guests can visit the carpentry workshop if they'd like anything, pretty much anything made of wood in the hotel um, and in your rooms um, are, is made in the carpentry workshop, which is really cool. Um, and actually, one thing I didn't mention, our new garden villas are um, completely um, off grid. So they uh, use um, sustainable um, energy completely now. Um, so those are those new villas. Um, we were able with with the new build to input that infrastructure. Um, and that's really, really exciting. Um, the resort in general operates um, a large part of the energy off of sustainable energy. That is wind and solar. Um, you know, we have that breeze, we might as well harness it. Um, and so as much as possible, we use solar um, or um, wind power. Uh, and this is really amazing. I mean, those those villas um, that are utilizing um, only uh, sustainable energy, um, you know, they're still running air conditioning units. They're still running, um, you know, all the same um, luxury amenities, uh, but they're able to run um, purely off of sustainable energy sources. Um, and of course, you know, we've eliminated plastic bottles like you would expect. We have our beautiful bikes as well. So you can go cycling. You don't need to use cars if you don't want to, to head, head off into the village. Um, now, I will just do a quick recap of the property just to kind of run over everything. Um, but just to recap, we've got our 15 villas. So that is the five one bedroom villas, the five two bedroom villas. Um, and then we've got a five bedroom villa and four of the new garden villas. We've got three rooms. So the cinnamon rooms, um, we've got um, one that's just for two people. And then we've got the quadruple and the family. And um, we've got our beautiful spa, um, which is a huge part of what we do. Um, and is always being leveled up in terms of the treatments that we're offering there. Um, we have our kite surfing and water sports center. So that is on site. Um, the kite surfing, um, as I said, is incredible. You can, from a beginner right up to professionals, you you can learn here um you know from the absolute basics um to you know we have people coming from all over the world um to utilize the space for kite surfing we've got two restaurants and three bars and uh, we are very much family friendly we love having families here um but we also are naturally an incredible honeymoon destination um, and an eco-responsible resort so as I was mentioning just before um, you know we are trying to run as much as possible off of renewable energy and that's only going to be leveled up as the resort continues to be um, continues to be renovated which actually um, you know the property looks absolutely stunning and that is because it's constantly being um, updated and upgraded there you know we never sit still um, as soon as there's something empty we're and we're able to get in there and do repair work and, and level everything up and that's what's happening of course um, particularly since covid you know very big sanitation measures um, at the property um, and in terms of updates and news um i kind of went over a few things um uh, before but we now have e-bikes for rental and um, so they've got the big fat tires so you can go cycling down the beach into Page um, with a little extra boost and um, we've got our tennis court which is new from last year and um, we've got the wing foils um, at um, the kite surfing school and um, we now have a hair and beauty salon at the, at the spa and um, so that is kind of many different beauty treatments on top of the kind of massages and facials that we were already offering. Um, we have got an events and weddings um, package. So um, I will be sending that out with the um, with the follow up. Um, and we now offer those daily complimentary activities that are included and organized so that guests, um, you know, don't have to kind of think about anything. Um, and we actually do now have um, a guest app as well. Um, and on top of that, I should mention when you arrive um, at Santa White Sand, you're allocated your, your butler for your stay um, and you will be set up on a whatsapp with uh, with them um, and anything you need anything you want booking um you can book through your butler via whatsapps any problems when you're in your room um you know it can all be arranged 
um, just on WhatsApp. So it's really, really easy. Um, and guests can feel right at home and feel like they've always got that point of contact um, at their fingertips.